What up, YouTube? This is Joda from Demigod Collective. That's Vesper, Vesper from guy. Demigod Collective. And we have a brand new video for you today. Today's video is a special one, Vesper. Why is it special? It's special because uh, we're going to take fan questions and we're going to answer them right here in this podcast. But Let's before go. we get into that, there is one thing we have to talk about, and that's the Hard Body Music Video. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Hard Body Music Video. Premium quality content delivered by yours truly, directed by yours truly. I did some vocals on it. I did some 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 on screen things, but you got if you respect the boy, give him a, give him a few minutes of your time. Check it out. You're gonna see it in the description. Hard body music video. Let's get it. Without further ado, let's get to these questions. Let's go. All right. First question out here. Um, it, it's a why demigod? Why demigod? So, I'm I'm seeing this question and like it's a two parter for me. I see it as a, okay. I see it as a why demigod. It's just like oh, why did we choose that name as like <laughs> as like to choose the identity of our group? And I also see it as why demigod from the outside. Like why you should listen to us. Why you should be anywhere near us why you should look at us why pay any why pay us any mind that's so, a great question so i say do you want to you want to answer the first part um, or the second part i i think the first part should just be the word basically half god half human you know you make yourself godly by the things you do the actions we can answer uh, the, both questions right there. Yeah, the people you surround yourself with, how you invest in yourself, that's what makes you a demigod. You see how some people do shit with their day, and you don't do shit with yours, and you guys have the same 24 hours? They're on their demigod shit. They're out here on, on, the regular on, shit. on their goal-attenuating mm -hmm. lifestyles, right? They're not asking why, they're asking how. So that is the difference into what. So like the, the goal is to become a person like that in whatever field or life you would respect to be in ours is music and all this shit. Why and why why us is because that's that's what we want. Like I wouldn't ask of my friends to do something that I know that they're not capable of. True but, facts. But people need to be pushed. People be, that you can acquire so much, and the worst thing is to have wasted potential. So. I'm going to lead the charge with my boys to show you you can be whatever you want. That's a great question, though. Great first question. Great question. Amazing question. So I hope that answers it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second question. Another great question. Will we ever do a Christmas album? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I can answer that one really quick. Every year, I always talk about doing a Christmas trap album because I just don't want to take those same beats and trap them up and be... Don't give them anything. No, and, okay. and then, like, right. you know, do as corny as you can. Like, there's so much opportunity. There's a lot. But to... the thing about a Christmas album, it takes time. So I don't want to start thinking about Christmas in August. Yeah, you got to. Yeah. for December. Yeah. Because it's not going to just pop up in a week. You know what? Like, give me the you opportunity know? to make some Michael Buble money off of some Christmas album. Let's see. Let's let's. Hell just... fuck yes on that dude, one. That's dude. Good. Like, think about it, man. Michael Buble, every time around this year, Mariah Carey, every time around this year, wham, R.I.P. George Michael, every time around this year, bro. Like, it sounds like Mariah Carey, all I want is this paycheck. Next question. <laughs> Her live performances reflect that. Woo! Ah, no, no shade, but there's no sun. You're right. Next question. Uh, we got another one. How did y'all cool ass fuckers meet and become so close despite being so different? Wow, that is a very good question. I don't know who's asking these questions, by the way, so wow. it's all news to me. I'll check it out later on the internet. But. All right, all right. How 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 well? How did we meet? The first the, the first can we, link. Can we do this in the in a thirty second variant? Yeah, we, yeah. We've, we've we've perfected it to a minute variant usually, but now we're getting to thirty seconds. Go ahead, hit him with it. Um, I've known him from summer camp, and we were friends, and he always wanted to do music shit, and we've been doing music shit. Um, he scouted me out sense. at a talent show where I was singing and shit, and then he was just like, "We need that." And then basically, I was brought into the fold. yeah. Um, there's that, and Q is a byproduct of my trolling on the internet <laughs> and him understanding the truth hurts sometimes. Better story for later. That's a good story. Yeah, that's the next question. Yeah, that we're good with that one. <laughs> uh, how come none of your IG posts has snippets of your podcast? So, see, that's even a better question because we have somebody out here giving us constructive criticism. So, yeah, we're going to take that one right to the face and say, you're fucking right. You're right. You're right. You're right. 
You're to right. we gotta start. That is where I've laid it as a, a, an egg. Um, it, it's it's a lot. Uh, we're Chopping getting in up. the in the rhythm of organizing, uh, sending, and scheduling posts of certain things, mm-hmm. which is becoming more regular now. It's just a habit for it's for all cool three. Now. I do the majority of the editing, um, so I just want the guys to send me content that is a lot uh, easy for them. Uh, you know, nothing that's breaking their head over. You know, as long as it's quality. That way, you get every member's take on stuff. So that's coming up. But for it's real, in process. shout out to that question because we have people out there that care about us enough, keeping us accountable, coming up with great ideas. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Next question. Would you guys be in a hell in the cell tag team match? Absolutely, boy. We need to get JP out hold there. Up, hold up, hold up. Oh my God. Did they ask who the opponents are? Oh, who are the opponents? Who are the right? opponents? Who are? Look. Although it is hell in the cell, I'm going to say it doesn't fucking matter who the opponents are. We're going to find you, and we're going to take you out of that cell, boy. I'm not trying to go against like Undertaker and Kane. Mm. You are fucking crazy. I'll do it for the clout. I'll do it for the clout. Shane McMahon. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, if you want to do a cage match, would you do it with a contemporary a hell in the cell one? Yeah. But if you want me to be with the Undertaker or... One of, one of these professional too. murderers. Those guys are veterans. I pass. Okay, like, like it can hurt me from sitting up ones. These guys jump off cages. I'm good, but I'll definitely take the opportunity with with my if it was against two of my dumbass friends. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so fire. I'll definitely score up against my friends. Uh, against like Triple H. Oh, like, that's crazy, man. Crazy. Those guys are professionals, <laughs> man. Like, w- like one tombstone, <laughs> you're done, bro. Even like, if, I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, dude. A DDT dog? Nah. <laughs> What's the craziest request you got from a fan? What is the craziest request that we've gotten from a fan before? I think he's got one. Oh, he's, Do he you have one? I don't. I don't. I don't have. I don't think people have asked me for that crazy for that crazy thing. The craziest thing I've had uh, a fan ask me is to be like someone else. <laughs> Damn, man, that's also deep too. Yeah. Holy shit! That's a, Fuck. That's wild. Uh, we also got another one. Uh, what what about them dolphins? I'm gonna take both mics for that one. Um, <laughs> let it be known that I am a Patriot supporter, uh, a Tom Brady supporter. I heavy, love the fucking Patriots. Heavy, heavy. We watched we watched the last Super Bowl where they dominated and came back all stuff together. I I video. I have videos of this man losing his shit. No, he doesn't. But there is no... Uh, they're close to me because they know that my allegiance for that team is diehard. What fails for the Dolphins for me is that it's been like 20 years after Marino retired and you guys can't get past 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah, man, I just... I, you guys need a new something. It's stop giving the Patriots all your what you think are bad players. It's a stupid move. It's, it's just consistent losing, and everybody's just like it's on not that. consistent losing. It's consistent eight and eight. It's consistent, consistent eight, yeah, not eh. losing. Yeah, just like mm-hmm. getting to the brink. And I mean, never... at least you know the Browns suck. They don't win games all season. You have a Dolphins team that they they, they start off four and There's one. So much oh shit! Oh, shit. And then the it's record, the and then, and then their record is like the like, suspense like, until we the die. Record is like four and twelve, so they lost all the games. There's some dumb shit always for for the Overwatch people. It's like being stuck yeah. in high gold, like like that's <laughs> like that's what it is for the Overwatch people. Do we have any more questions? We have one more, bro. One more, qu- one more and question. And another goodie. Another right, goodie, another boy. Good final question. What advice can you tell an up and coming creative? Oh my Are god. Are these really in that order? Yeah, bro. That's what advice. That's what all of you for. Advice. Me. You'll have my side and you're going to have the dark side. So, my side is uh build up your your consistency and your discipline and then your craft will follow. If you can start just doing something and putting it out there, it will get better. You have to believe in yourself. You have to fully, fully, fully come to terms with who you are and what you are and start making those risks early. Go, JP. Go. I think before you do that, <laughs> you have to uh, be fully 
aware that you're... You gotta believe that your shit is the best shit. Yeah. And that's it. Like, you can't be a little beta hoe. I want I want to make salad. You gotta make the best fucking salad. All right, guy? Like, it's very fucking simple. If you want to lead, if you want to entertain and to create and to make anything of yourself, right? You're going to have to walk into that game knowing that everyone around you wants the same and hope they weed themselves out. Right? So commit. Stay focused, but for but believe in yourself. The more people think that you're crazy, the better it is. It's not worse. It's it's, it's a marathon, man. It's a marathon. Uh, when did French make it, JP? When did French Montana make it? After how many? It was like sixteen mixtapes or something. Something stupid. Mm-hmm. Sixteen mixtapes is a lot of tape. Mm-hmm. Terrible. So you you just you got to keep running the race, man. Lil Duval has a hit at forty one years old. Like what what makes you think you can't do it, bro? There's so many kids on YouTube and shit doing shit that is that everyone knows is like this is some dumb entertaining shit. <laughs> but they're making money, so why can't you? Why it's just leverage your your, your creativity, bro. Right, Let's go. Cool. That's enough salsa freak. You guys have a good day. There we go. Run it up.